Happy Saturday, guys. We may or may not have just coasted to the gas station on neutral because I didn't put any gas in my car, but we made it safe and sound, and it was all downhill, so there you go. But anywho, we are headed to the air show today. We're a little bit late because it starts at 9 a.m., and we decided that we wanted to sleep in a little bit. So now it's like 10. Um, I think the air show has been going for like an hour, but we are on our way. We're only like 20 minutes away. Um, from the air show from our house so we should be there uh, soon and I'm excited Joe just kind of got the tickets and said that we're going to the air show today Joe's gonna ask me that's better Joe is gonna ask me a few questions on airplanes to see how well my knowledge is on airplanes is this a bad and angle? such no <clears throat> I feel like this is a bad angle we're good okay Go. Question number one. What is an elevator? I'm assuming that it's not the normal elevator that I would know, right? It's on an airplane. It's on an airplane. An elevator is the thing that tells you how high you can go in the sky without exploding. No. What's an elevator? An elevator is what makes the airplane go up and down. Oh, I was kind of close, though. No. Nah, when you say? Really, not really. Okay. What's an altimeter? Altimeter? An altimeter is the communication device that is used to help you um, talk to the air people that help you to know where you're going. Incorrect again. Altim alt altimeter is a hard word to say. It is. Um, is what you just answered before. It tells you how high you are. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> that was a trick question. That yeah, was. What is a knot? Is it like electronical? Electronic? Like, is it like a. I think it's hilarious that you say electronical. Is it like a tool or is it like something with the airplane Just or is it a device? The question, man. A knot. Oh, a knot is um, a way to measure speed. Are you remembering this from Jaws? I just, it just, it just clicked all yeah, of a sudden. Right. Did I get that right? Yay! Like six knots is like, I think I got it from Star Trek. Like, okay. accelerate six Were knots. Were these light knots? <laughs> light years. I was joking, I said light knots. Because oh. Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. So, woo! Ding, ding, ding. That's all right. three, and I got one right. What is that? Oh my gosh! Flip the camera on that right now. I guess we're not going to the air show. There, we're. This is an 80 mile an hour highway, and we are stopped. That's yeah, the first we time are on the toll road, which means happened. that it's cruise sailing. Oh my gosh, dude. There must be a car like a accident? really bad one. What is that guy doing? Oh. Dude, who knew the air show was that freaking popular? We're five no. miles. We're five miles from the exit right now. I don't think it's because of the air show. You don't think so? There has never been traffic on this highway. Well, let's continue our game. Yeah. Uh, this might be a while. I have no idea what's going on. Let me just check the traffic over here. Yeah, tr check the traffic report. Wow, now they're saying 44 minutes to get five miles. Oh. Yeah, that's that's the air show right there. All the red is our route, exact route to go to the air show. Drive. That's why it was telling me to do that. It was like, get off on Smoky Hill. I'm like, no. Don't ever question your iPhone. Surrey always knows best, Joe. Have you not learned that yet? What is G-Force? G-force is the force of when your windshield wipers are on. When um, you're it's going the force fast. When your wipers are on. Yeah. When you're going fast and it's that that pressure you feel like hitting you, like putting you back in your seat. It's like but the what is it? It's the like world saying don't go that fast. What is it though, specifically? Force. But what force? That force from the air. But what force? Gravity! Yeah. The force of the gravity. <laughs> wow. But what's a contrail? A contrail is, um, oh, 
dang, I know all of these. Just, just by thinking like logically, hmm, it has the word trail in it. A contrail is that thing that you see in the sky, that white line, the planes drive by or fly by and then there's that white cloud that they leave behind. That's a contrail. It's the one form, the one I was thinking of was something different. Is that a contrail though? Yeah, um, it's the one I, you have an extra wrinkle I just found. I don't have a wrinkle. Hey yeah, you do, do you do your eyes again? No. Do your eyes. Do your eyes real quick. Good squint. Ah, there's a wrinkle right there on the inside of your I've eyes. always had that wrinkle. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's a normal wrinkle still, that people have when they make that I, face. I have tons of wrinkles. Oh my gosh, you should get this traffic on the curve. Zoom in. Holy crap, people. I cannot believe this. This is a toll road, so there's usually like five cars on it at all times. Look at okay, last question. Well, I suppose we'll see the uh, Thunderbirds, you know. I suppose we'll see them from the car. I'm really proud of myself that I got Contrail right, because I just kind of used okay. it to get there. Um, it, was a, it was a complete guess. Don't ask me what a sonic boom is, because I already Okay, know. water flaps. Oh, flaps? Are the things on the wings? Not jokes that are bad. <laughs> flaps, oh, those are flops. Never mind. Flaps are the things on the wings that tilt up to help um, with. It's like a little thing on the wing, and it tilts up mm. to help with like wind or something. No, they don't tilt up. Tilt. You're thinking of air brakes. Those are not air brakes. They're the flaps on the wings. It's the things in the airplane when you're landing, it's like and you look at the wing and it's like this little flap coming down and it makes the surface of the wing larger so you can have more lift at lower speed because when they come in for a landing, they put their flaps on. The more you know. <laughs> My average knowledge of planes I'd is say you're 50%. Uh, 50%. Yeah. That's pretty good. So if actually. we had to fly somewhere, you might be able to land or you might be able to to take off, but you would be able to do both, so. I think we've decided to not go to the show because if it is this backed up to get there, then to get inside, to find a seat, where, what was I saying before Joe moved the camera? So basically, with an hour, literally on Google Maps, to get a mile now. Yeah. With 2,000 million cars in front of us. Yeah. If we get into the park to park, we're not gonna get out yeah, you're not gonna find parking. On time. The cruddy part is that even though we're, we've decided that we're not going to the show anymore, we still have to sit in the traffic. To yeah, get there's there. no exit until that exit. Yeah. And if we get off at that exit, we're gonna be hosts. We have to go two exits. But you know what? Mm -hmm. Enter cheesy alert. That's when you're happy you married your best friend. We we're just gonna sit in traffic and enjoy each other's time and laugh so at the situation we figure, and talk to the YouTubes. We figure we just talk. Oh, uh, oh, lost we the YouTubes. We can't talk anymore. Lost the YouTubes. Lost the YouTubes. There's the YouTubes. All these people. There's probably a line for the exit a mile ahead. Yeah, this is. This is the people going. But I can't imagine that garbage thing is going to the air show. I mean, that's, that's cool. My arthritis is hurting me today, honey. I'm sorry. Well, the garbage guy probably just has to get off on the exit for another reason. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, lost the YouTubes. Lost the YouTubes. Uh oh, we're gonna lose them again. No! Oh! Oh, <laughs> I'm seriously trying not to break that hard, but sorry. P.S. <laughs> uh. yes, we haven't eaten anything. Can oh. I have a kiss? Cafe Rio? No. Why? You're so cute. That was a good one. Give me another one we then. We can't do PDA. I'm not doing Give that. Give me another one. Uh. Don't worry. Cuteness scale, it's at least a 10 today. At least. What about mine? Billion. There's no scale that can really compute the beauty of your presence. I want to roll down my window, which is already rolled down, and start conversations with people next to us. We should just like wave That'd and say funny. with the camera, "Are you guys going to the air show?" I feel like this. I feel like I could have a good chat with this guy right next to me I, right here. Yeah, I bet. He, I bet he would. He's a nice little old guy. His baseball cap on. He looks. He looks nice. That's not a baseball cap. It's a hat. Right. It's a hat. Is there a difference? You get in right there. I was just supposed to say something about the guy next to us and then I realized that his window is rolled down too, so he totally would have heard me. I was gonna say, I wouldn't talk to that guy. 
Let me, see, let me show you the people I potentially talk to. Hey, we're going! Hey, this is as fast as we've, go as we've gone! Yeah, but it's because no, this is the airport line. A minute ago, before I picked up the camera, we were at a dead stop, so you could totally have conversations with the people next to us, but now we're going all fast. Of course, right oh, when these I... These people were out of their car, like, walking. Like, what the crap? That's some balls. This is such craziness. Like, hey, we'll just walk to it. The guy was probably like letting his family out the car and he's like, go get a seat. I'll oh. see you there. <laughs> the car. He's not going to see him for another like two hours. Look, there's another group of people up on the island. Should we talk to this person? I talked to him. What? I smiled at him and he smiled back. We should get off on Quincy and then just park somewhere. Hey, I think I just saw somebody I knew. This is the exit that we were going to take. But ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, some people need to like regroup how they can figure out their air shows in the future. We're never going to get out of it. If we get off the freeway right now and turn around, we now have to sit in this going the other way. Oh my golly! Yeah, we're just going to go. What are we going to do? Go downtown. Going downtown. I love our little Saturday adventures. I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more just to be the man who walks a thousand miles to show that old at your door. Da -da -da. Yes, I know I'm gonna be a 500 miles and I would walk 500 more just to be the so there's the city behind you. 16th Street Mall, downtown Denver. So we're gonna go up this San Francisco looking hill. Actually, the bistro place, didn't we pass it down there? Yeah, it was down there, but I kinda wanna walk around and see what's over here. Yeah, there's like an event going on. You look there. seriously like uh, chic, you know, do your hair. Yeah, okay. So we're just gonna walk around this cute little over. part of downtown Denver and find somewhere to eat. And then there's some kind of like shenanigan happening over here. Shenanigan, shindig. Shindig. Is it like a farmer's market? Yeah. This is where we're gonna eat. Is that, imagine like taking a time travel uh -huh. and like seeing this back in 1899 yeah. or 1890. What would you see right now? For one, you wouldn't see Peyton Manning. What is this place? Uh, little man ice cream. That's sick. 